Good morning, folks. We've got an earthquake to report, some amazing astronomy art of the sun, an article full of shillery for climate propaganda, and we'll be going over a bit of information on the Schumann resonance with background information as well. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Larger eruptions happened on the far side, but we had much less facing Earth. Flaring dropped into C-class range, and we had only a few minor surges in the corona on this side, while that eruptive activity blasted off the other side away from the Earth. We'll have some sunspots to monitor closely, as well as plasma filaments. The eruptive sequence on our star hasn't let up much over the last couple weeks, even if only some of those were on the Earth-facing half. We are monitoring every event up there right now. Top earthquake of the last day was a seven-pointer that struck just offshore in Vanuatu. Luckily, that part of the world takes big quakes regularly and is prepared for them. Up next, we're getting a bit of eye candy as the Royal Astronomical Society shortlist for astrophotography piece of the year is out, and one of them, this combined SOHO and SDO view, made the list. It's a gorgeous multi-wavelength look at our sun. Then again, I'm biased. Folks, this article is making its rounds on the net, and it's the same type of fear-mongering we've come to expect in the field. Not once do they mention the cold triggering potential of ice loss from the poles, but they do want us to know how in danger coral is after we had just learned earlier this year that coral recovery is at a record high mark despite the shift in the oceans. Lastly, folks, a good study detailing the lightning impact on Schumann resonance. The resonance of the ionospheric cavity and atmosphere is a function of solar wind, lightning, geomagnetic storms, volcanoes, and much more. And while it is a good scientific measurement, it is much misunderstood. It is a concurrent signal, rather than a driver of anything. I see people online pointing at the Schumann resonance and suggesting something could happen because of it. No, it is a sign that something has already happened. To use a comparison, water evaporates, then it forms clouds, then it rains, then everything gets wet, and afterwards there is a rainbow. The Schumann resonance is the rainbow, one of the last in line effects of other activity, but over long periods we can use it to see how much the planet is reacting to stimuli, like increased solar wind impact and lightning discharges, due to the weakening magnetic field of our planet and excess energy coming into the system. Folks, don't forget to get tickets to our big event in Northern Phoenix, January 13th. It's an in-depth observer event with special guests, and we would love to see you out there. Tickets are found at the link below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.